He works more hours in one week than some people do in two. 14 hour days, 16 hour days, six days a week. What's that, 70, 80 hours a week? Those long hours have helped make Chef Eduardo Jordan a rising star in Seattle's food scene. His first restaurant, Solare, has been a big hit ever since it opened. Nationally, Food & Wine magazine named him one of the best new chefs in the country. But despite all the demands that come with success, Chef Jordan still makes time to go out to eat. Most of the time I like simple food. I, I mean, I'm a kind of meat and potatoes kind of guy. I can eat a burger three, four times a week. Um, but there's times where I just want to splurge too. One of his splurge-worthy places is a few steps away from his own restaurant. We're at home base right now. This is Solari, and this is what taught her right next door to me. This is one of my favorite sushi restaurants in this city. Chef, I'm leaving it in your hands as I always do. You have brilliant chefs like this bringing in the most beautiful and freshest seafood around you. you. You then understand why this is such a magical food. Oh yeah, that's good smoke. It's light, it's clean, um, it's sexy. Uh, you won't go home feeling extremely heavy, but you feel satisfied. Down the road, about a mile, you'll find a place Eduardo considers a second office. We're here at Tornado, one of my favorite beer spots in the city. With 40 rotating taps, Tornado is a beer lover's paradise. But it's the food that keeps him coming back. I came here for the beer, but I stayed for the burger. Woohoo! Yes, sir. I walked by one day, they had a little smoker going. I knew that this was a winner. Glazed carrots, baked beans, everything made in house, even the bacon. I mean, look at this. Good beer, good food, good people. Can't go wrong. The last stop of the night goes to Greenwood and Chef Eric Donnelly's restaurant, Flint Creek Cattle Company. Eric is doing a really good job. Eric. Chef, what's going on, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Yeah. He's known for his seafood, but now he's doing an excellent job with his meat. Flint Creek serves premium meats sourced from well-managed, small-scale farms. So many choices, man. It's such a beautiful place, so beautiful of a menu that it's just hard to pick. Can't go wrong when you get a ribeye. With the ribeye, it's just like that fat cap and that fat content that's actually trapped in that steak that it actually brings out more of that beefy happiness that everyone normally enjoys. He may put in long hours at work, but Chef Eduardo Jordan will always take a time out for something tasty. Oh, this is so good.